Hi guys, this next video tutorial is on how to draw a tree. Uh, I've started to do one here and we're going to build one up. And as you can see, I'm doing this using uh, five uh, colouring pencils. So, you start off with your piece of paper. You can do this either way round. I prefer to do it portrait myself, it's entirely down to you. Okay, I'm going to start off with drawing a line at the bottom just as my ground level. And you'll notice, guys, today I'm not using a pencil uh, or a pen, I'm going straight into my colouring pencils. So I use my brown, and I'm going to build up my tree, so I'm going to start off with the roots curving up here to the main trunk of the tree, all right? That's central, and it goes to about a quarter or a third of the way up the page before I'm going to branch out. And I'm just going to flow these big branches out. I'm going to be nice and loose. And my tree is coming out there. It looks a little bit like fingers. Okay. So all of the time, I'm going to be using an up and down motion. Up and down, up and down. I'm not going to go side to side. I'm going to be going up and down. And off these branches, I have smaller branches. And this is quite a nice process. It feels quite nice with my hand sort of gliding along the page. You can imagine the tree branches will be thicker and then there's going to be smaller and smaller branches coming off them like so. Now a tip for you, if you've got a pencil that you're using and I'm using it again and again and again on this side, the edge of the, the nib of the pencil is going to become a bit flatter and a bit blunter on this side, which means my stroke is going to be bigger. So what I can do is just turn the pencil slightly and you can see straight away that my line is much more clear and firm okay so play around with rotating that pencil so i'm building this up i'm building up my big branches and they become smaller and smaller and smaller okay and you can take your time with this you can enjoy doing this and i'm filling my page now interestingly one thing to consider is the tree, as well as going this way and this way, would actually come towards the viewer and away from the viewer. And that's quite hard to do as an artist, but it's something to remember when you're filling your tree in later. Okay, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to thicken out this bit. Again, I'm using my up and down motion here. And I'm building up my tree more and more and more. And obviously, guys, this is a rushed video. You could really spend a long time doing this, expanding, expanding, expanding. Okay, it's quite a nice process. I'm quite enjoying doing this. And you could go down, you could really be quite detailed, doing all these tiny little branches like this. Okay, so when you're happy with what you've got to, you might want to mix it up with another colour, just to add a little bit of interest here. And I'm going up. I'm expanding these branches. I'm turning my pencil around so it's got a sharper edge. And if you feel it's getting too blunt, feel free to sharpen it. Okay, so I'm going to work on my tree. I could work on this a bit more, but I'm, I'm going to just move on from here for the purposes of this video. Okay, right. So I've got my tree, all right? It's a bit naked at the moment. You can imagine this is a winter tree. Uh, this is quite nice, guys, because Spring is coming, not quite just yet, but it's on the way, and I'm sure everyone's going to feel a lot better in the spring. So I've got three different colours here. This one is actually green. It looks pretty dark on my camera for some reason, but that's a green. I've got three different greens. I'm going to start off with this really bright green uh, to kind of represent those new leaves and those new buds growing. So I'm just going to simply use a little half circle squiggle to build up the impression here of leaves. I'm not going to bother doing leaf shapes, okay? I'm not going to look at the detail there. I'm just going to give the impression of these leaves here. Little circles, little squiggles. And I'm just doing them at random. You could make this into a bit of a math game. You could go, okay, you know, I've got five minutes. I'm going to do a hundred leaves or dots, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You get the idea. Yeah, you could fill this with a thousand circles probably. It might be a nice idea 
to do, you know, a hundred a day and see how your picture evolves over a week. Or possibly, if you're feeling really ambitious, you could do a massive one, build it up every day over the whole term, over the whole lockdown. And then at the end of it, you could have an amazing picture that you might be able to frame. That'd be nice. Don't forget to change the color every so often. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm building them up. It doesn't matter if some of them are floating in the air. For example, if I did one there, that doesn't matter at the moment because by the time I finished, there'll be a lovely sea of green. Okay, now, don't forget, as well as doing them here, don't forget that actually, in reality, this tree would be growing this way as well towards the camera, right? So you want to make sure that you've got some leaves growing here. They look like they're growing out of the actual trunk, whereas actually you're given the impression that they're growing out this way, but you can't quite see that on your picture. So at the moment, even though I've probably done a couple of hundred leaves, it still looks incredibly bare, okay? Build it up with a few yellows. Not too many yellows, because I want it to be pretty fresh and pretty green. You could try experimenting, right? Double whammy, little tip, okay? Let's see if this works. Two at a time. It does work. Looks quite good. But what you've got to remember is this isn't a picture that you rush through and you do as quickly as possible and you go to your family's, oh, I've done it, on to the next one, okay? This is something that you're supposed to enjoy take your time with, just actually enjoy the process, okay? It's not about the final product so much, it's about enjoying the process. Uh, give it a go, I hope you enjoy it, and I'd love to see some of those examples. All right, thanks.